y'all been waiting for. I am. What's up, y'all? It's your girl Christina, and today, you guys, today I am back again with another video today for you guys. As y'all can see by that title, y'all already pretty much know the gist of this video, what's going on in this video, and I'm just, yeah. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get this video to 500 likes and let's go ahead and get into the video so by that title y'all y'all probably wondering really <laughs> y'all probably wondering are you serious yes y'all i am completely serious and if you haven't liked the video yet what what, what are you doing if you haven't subscribed yet what, what are you doing so we're gonna wait a minute and wait for y'all to do that so yeah hell yeah the news y'all been waiting for. I am expecting y'all. I'm yeah! expecting a baby and I am super duper 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 excited for my little bundle of joy. And yeah, I just want to tell y'all, you know, my symptoms, things I've been going through this pregnancy, how it's been, the support system, and etc. That a lot of people want to know. How did I find out? So basically, y'all. I was I was going by my day and one of my friends actually told me and she texted me and she was like, you know, Christina, I'm still see you're pregnant and I'm just like, girl, what? what? What are you talking about? No, I'm not. And I just thought she was crazy because when I tell you I haven't talked to this girl in like weeks and then out of the blue she just say, Christina, you're pregnant. I'm just like, girl, you're insane. Like what are, what are you talking about? So basically she said that or whatever and I'm just like, ain't no way my period coming on like next week. So time passed, she asked me, had your period came on yet? I said, no, it hasn't. You know, it's not time for it. It's gonna come on until, you know, two more days from now. It's gonna come on early. And then two more days passed. It was the day my period was come on. And she was just like, Hey period came on yet? I was like, no, but it will. It is some more days pass. She's like, your period came on, y'all. At this point, I am literally, I think I was three, four, four, three or four days late. I can't remember how late I was because, like, this was months ago. And, um, yeah, so I was three to four days late on my period. So that's when I was like, hmm, okay. Let me go ahead and get the test. I'm still in denial. Still like uh 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 it's just my it's just my my um what was it my um my hormones it was just my hormones messing up and I'm just like there's no way it's no it's not possible I'm infertile I'm not fertile so I don't know how I'm I'm pregnant or whatever so I was just in denial y'all I was making up all the excuses in the world because I could not could not believe it so we end up going to um Dollar Tree. And we got two tests, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get two because probably one girl will probably have a defect." So we got two tests, and then we went back to the house, her house, and you know, I peed in the cup, you know, and I took the test or whatever, put the little droppies on the thing, waited. It didn't take long, y'all. I, I literally waited for like thirty seconds to a minute before the um, test came back, and when I looked at it, I'm like, "There's no way possible." This this is this is real. <laughs> I said these are some tests that's gonna be turning positive even if I put the water up there, yeah. I was just like, uh uh, these are wrong. So her sister so happened to have some crazy tests in her room and she had the first response. So she ended up giving me a first response. I said, I'm not gonna take it right now because these tests are acting up or whatever. So you know, I waited and I took it again and but show that they was was positive and them lines was darker and i'll make sure that i found the pictures so i can insert it up her and everything and i will be inserting the pictures of like my first trimester and my second trimester and then this is me now <laughs> my little baby in here y'all i am in my third trimester i'm 31 weeks so this is my little bundle of joy right here and um yeah um but yeah so that's how I basically found out I was breakers. And um, I, how I felt at the time was, you know, I was just, I was, 
shocked. I was surprised. I, I wasn't mad. I wasn't mad because I know a lot of people, oh, I was mad when I first went out. No, I, I wasn't mad. I was more so like, what in the world? How, how did this happen again? <laughs> you know, or whatever. But um, once I finally got over the denial process, I went into the, okay, I'm really pregnant. Okay. Um, well, what am I going to do now? So I end up telling my, my boyfriend first, of course. And, you know, I was like, you know, I'm pregnant, blah, blah, blah. He was, he was shocked too. We basically had the same reaction or whatever. And, um, yeah, so we like, what? <laughs> so we both like, what? Because it's like, if you find out you're not expecting it, it just turns your whole your whole life upside down and then like I literally went ghost on social media because my body's changing my face is changing I'm changing I look different and at the time I didn't want everybody to know or even notice anything was going on with me so I, I was like okay well I'm just gonna hide it for a little bit as much as I can hide it for or whatever after, that was after the denial and everything so, um, I feel like a few more days went by. I was like, all right, I'm going to tell my mama because my mama, she noticed everything. Like, she noticed everything. Like, she's so nosy. And it doesn't make any sense how nosy she is. But she's so nosy and she recognized everything, every little small thing about me, y'all. And sometimes I love that about her and sometimes I don't because it gets to the point where it's so annoying. But my mama noticed everything about me, so I went ahead and told her because we was already going on, on our cruise on the trip. And if she seen the little prenatal bottle, she's going to ask, what's that for? And how do I hide that, taking that medicine How when she's so observant? So I was just like, I'm not going to hide it from her. I'm going to tell her. So I was like, I think we need to go ahead and tell our parents. I feel like it's time to tell our parents or whatever. And um, I end up telling my mom. And she was like, okay, you know, try to process everything. Because the funny thing is, my mama was pregnant too. Because she was two months in the, ahead of me. Because she found out, I found out in July. So she found out, she had February, May. Yeah, she found out in May that she was pregnant too with my little brother. So, yeah. So she was like, okay, you know, trying to process everything or whatever. I can't really speak on her behalf, how she was feeling. But, you know, she, she wasn't, I don't think she was mad about it. I don't necessarily she was upset or anything but she just was like okay you know you know it wasn't happy but it wasn't mad but it was like okay <laughs> it was that reaction and then of course Eva got for the mom it grew on her and now she's super duper duper excited for her baby grandbaby for her baby grandbaby that made no sense she's a super excited for her grandbaby or whatever so after that um so we go on the trip, blah, blah, blah. Basically, my mama told the whole family. <laughs> so I would have to. I was like, Mom, why would you do that? Why would you tell the whole family? And she's like, that's how I cope with it. So that's how she was coping with it or whatever, y'all. Um, <laughs> but, but yeah, um, so she did that. And then we went on our trip. But basically, everybody already knew that I was pregnant or whatever. It wasn't a secret anymore for with the family anyway. So um yeah so we went on our trip we had fun and then after the trip i had scheduled um a confirmation with two pregnancy clinics now these are not the OBGYNs; these are just like um clinics you go to to confirm the pregnancy or um where you take your pregnancy mommy classes mommy to be classes and daddy to be classes, like clinics like that or whatever so we went to the first one and um to confirm it and it was positive, so I took a total of three tests. That made four. And then, um, after I did that, they were on schedule ultrasound, but I was like, no, worry about it. I got to get my ultrasound when I go to my, my real doctor. And then, um, well, I talked to my mom, told her, she was like, well, maybe you should get an ultrasound. But we ended up going doing the ultrasound with the other um, pregnancy clinic or whatever. 
and they confirmed it or whatever and then we did the ocean snail a little later let me tell you something about that first ocean snail y'all if y'all look if you're early they're gonna do a trans vaginal ultrasound and when i tell y'all that trans vaginal ultrasound is so uncomfortable it's it's uncomfortable they're not gonna do it on your belly okay because the baby's so little and they can't see the baby so um yeah it was very 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 uncomfortable and i didn't like it um so yeah and this it's just very uncomfortable i don't like that at all but they did that and they seen a little bean and he was just so tiny like a little what do you mean he was so little and um yeah and it confirmed that he was inside the um the tube or the sack or whatever you want to call it it wasn't an epidemic or whatever the word is pregnancy whatever he was in the right location he was planted in the right spot so after that um a couple weeks went by and when i hit eight weeks i got my first ocean snail i went to schedule my ocean snail with my doctor my og uh, my OBGYN doctor at that clinic and um i see the little bean again and his pictures over there but i'm not gonna i don't think i'm gonna show his pictures if i do i put a little clip in the thing but he was just a little tiny thing you see his little head his little arms and his little legs and toes in there too but yeah he was a little tiny little baby bigger than what i seen him for and yes they did that transvaginal too so i had two transvaginal ultrasounds which i did not like but it's okay <laughs> and then you know of course i'm doing my weekly checkups or whatever and yeah and so first trimester symptoms was tiredness i was super duper tired like, i didn't have any energy like anywhere i go i would go to sleep uh anywhere literally i'll be sitting in the room go to sleep and i'm in a car someone else is driving i'll go to sleep i went to my friend's house i'll go to sleep i was sleeping everywhere i went i was so tired didn't have any energy and um at all and then yes i did get my um prenatal vitamins when um when I first found out, because I knew I needed to take them, so I went ahead and brought those that way I had them. And, um, yeah, so my baby getting his vitamins, his nutrients, his thing like you know, gotta make sure he's healthy and strong and good, you know. But, anyway, that's besides the point right now. But, yeah, so that was tiredness, sleepiness is one of my major, 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 major symptoms. Another one in the first trimester, I was nauseated, but I didn't throw up, thank God. Um, I was very nauseated. I just, I just felt sick all the time. And what helped with that was ginger tea with um, honey. Um, if you get you some ginger tea and some honey, that right there, that's a lifesaver. Um, my boyfriend's mom actually told me about that. So thanks to her, I've been drinking that tea every time I feel nauseated. But I was very nauseated, very nauseous. Um, I did I had an increase in appetite and then it decreased. It was the weirdest thing but it increased at first and then it decreased and um so i just felt very nauseated very sick um that's it that i can think of right now for the first trimester second trimester the nausea went away i was still tired but the nausea went away and pregnancy brain began, began to come because that's when i started forgetting everything or whatever and of course with my doctor's appointments i just had a lot of checkups you know what i'm saying it was checkups every month with the doctor's appointments when i would turn um in my second trimester so um yeah but the nausea went away and um pregnancy brain began and at 15 weeks that's when i first day felt him kick and at 18 weeks he was moving around a lot more and if you get what i'm saying he i am having a boy <laughs> So, um, yeah, so as time went on, my second trimester was amazing. And when I entered third trimester, the nausea is not as strong as it was in the first trimester, but it's there sometimes. Like sometimes after I eat and my stomach will start to hurt, oh no, maybe I shouldn't eat that or something like that. Or it's like if I eat too much, my, my camera died. So like I was saying, yeah, like if I ate too much, then my stomach will hurt. And honestly, I found that out, learned that out. Well, honestly, I learned that in the first trimester, like if I eat too much, my stomach will hurt. But um, overall, this pregnancy has been going very well. 
and my symptoms have been very minor like i haven't really had any symptoms like that um i haven't really been swelling either so um all i can say is just stay hydrated know your body don't do too much um because like i don't work out as hard as i do anymore honestly i don't work out at all i really don't work out at all i might try to stretch because like now with the pressure i do have blood pain and it can get very 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 uncomfortable so i do try to stretch and make sure my hips and stuff are like you know like they're i don't know I, I don't know how to say it but i just make sure i stretch because like i said i be feeling really 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 really, really uncomfortable at times so but yeah my pregnancy been going very great and very good um so um just stay tuned for more pregnancy videos because I will be dropping more pregnancy content and I'm super duper excited that I'm finally, finally, finally sharing the news with you guys and um, I'm finally getting comfortable in my own skin. So if you are pregnant and you're just like, this is too much, my, I'm going through changes and my body's going through all these changes, it's okay and it's completely normal and just, you know, learn to love your pregnant body you know and just learn to love your pregnant body and just remember you you're gonna snap back you, you will snap back after you have the baby even if you gotta put in the work because sometimes everybody's body is different you know you can't just snap back like some people you have to put in your work so don't get sad or depressed or nothing about it just stay strong keep going because at the end all of it's gonna be worth it when you meet your baby so just just keep that in mind so without further ado um i will see you guys in my next video make sure you like comment and subscribe and yeah bye babes